We've got three driver heads with us today to test out uh, the low spin Sub-Zero heads from the past three generations of Callaway drivers, the Epic Flash, the Maverick, and the Epic Max LS. All here today, uh, we're gonna test them out and tell you what the differences are. That's, That's the feel start. I wanna hear off the face. A great start, oh my God. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold and Thomas Campbell here at the Second Swing Minnetonka Tour Van. Uh, we'll get a fun test today. We got three Callaway drivers, all of the low spinning versions from the past three generations, Epic Flash, Maverick, and Epic Max. So Thomas, I know you've played Callaway drivers in the past. This will be a fun one for you to do. Um, low spinning drivers, I know that's also something you're looking for as well. So this should be a fun test and I'm excited to see what we find out. This is a really fun test. I've actually played those last two drivers in the last two generations. And I might be playing this one, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. So this, okay. is, this is a fun test right up my alley here today. Epic Mal Max LS. I'm really interested because it's supposed to be high MOI, but still very, very mm -hmm. low spinning. Well, the other ones were just very, very low spinning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll talk about how the tech has maybe evolved a little bit too, but ultimately we're going to see what TrackMan tells us about these three drivers. So I see you got a shaft there that you're going to use today for this test. Uh, tell us about that one. Yeah, so I've got the Hazardous Smoke IM10. It's a 6.5, so it's extra stiff, 60 gram versions. Kind of very similar weight that I've been playing the last year on my drivers okay. as well. Okay, perfect. Well, you ready to hit some shots? Let's hit some bombs. That's, That's the feel start. I want to hear off the face. A great start. Oh my God. A little bit offline, but they were You're bombs. swinging hard, Thomas. <laughs> All right, Thomas, three shots. Uh, you're, you're jumping on these pretty good, uh, but the Epic Flash Sub-Zero uh, was kind of first when Callaway introduced artificial intelligence into the creation, uh, the manufacturing process. Uh, so hot ball speeds, as you can see here, but what do you like about that club and what did you maybe look and feel like? Yeah, I like the way the club head sits. The, the little larger profile, I like how it's more compact. A little more compact to look down at. It just looks like it's more of a more appealing look as opposed to some drivers get kind of pushed very, very far back with mm -hmm. the CG. You know, I need, to, I need to reduce my spin, especially as I swing faster and faster. I need to keep that spin rate down. I need to keep that height down. Mm -hmm. So this model essentially is designed to do that. Mm -hmm. Perfect, yeah, and then my, clearly the distance consistency here so far, pretty good, pretty good. But um, now we can kind of move on to Maverick Sub-Zero, which was 2020's model. All right. Well, this was the driver that I played in 2020, for good reason. Nice and straight, but also pretty good distance there as well. Yeah, the, I, the Epic Flash set a pretty high bar, and Maverick may have topped it. It's pretty darn close. Uh, you know, the dispersion is a little smaller, uh, and you had a couple actually that went a little further. So, very interesting, uh, despite the fact that you were swinging this one just a little slower on average. So, pretty good stuff. I think the spin number is really what's doing that. So, but, I mean... It, very hot, very hot drivers. Yeah, I did miss it one of the three, but notice it was still nice and straight and still mm -hmm. got out there, it still chased out there. So that was the important thing to take away. Mm -hmm. Now the Epic Max LS for 2021, as you said, uh, kind of at the beginning, uh, this is an interesting model because they're kind of combining the high MY properties and the low spin properties into one head. So I'm gonna be curious about how this one performs here. Yeah, I'm very curious between the speed and the Max LS because I don't even know which head I'd even like better because mm -hmm. They're both just so different. Yeah, yeah, well, let's see. All right. I don't think I can hit it better than that. That is just, look at that thing. I mean, the dispersion is literally on the line. All right, well, Thomas, we have some very explosive numbers to look at here. Um, my word. So, I mean, we're, we're only three shots in with each one, uh, but each one we're getting progressively lower spin and we're getting progressively farther down the fairway. This one, your average carry was 310.8 yards. Uh, it's pretty good stuff there. I've never seen that before. Never seen a 310 yeah. average carry. Now, I believe Trackman did pick up swing speed on that second swing wrong, but the ball speed will be mm. accurate. Notice it said 118. Yeah. Notice everything else was a little bit slower than that. I don't think I can swing that 118 right now. Um, but keep in mind, ball speed is where it's at. Focus more on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So the ball speed is jumping clearly, and you know, yeah. 
talk about Callaway drivers, it's been jailbreak technology was so key over the years, which is those two bars behind, I think, well, Epic Flash and Maverick drivers. Then they kind of turned it into a speed frame with the help of their AI in the Epic Max LS. So a little bit of an improvement there. And it, clearly here, there's a little bit of it you know, showing in TrackMan here. Yeah, I absolutely smoked this driver. Well, let's, uh, let's solidify the data a little bit more. Maybe three more with each one, and then we'll really break this down. Sounds good. All right, well, Thomas, uh, we've got our shots up here. Uh, I know what you like to do is kind of maybe take out sort of one outlier, if you will, uh, with each club. So we can kind of go ahead and do that here. Um, kind of collapse everything and we can get a good picture of the performance here, Thomas. So um, quickly looking at the numbers, you know, I see kind of some spin differences and, and ball speed differences a little bit, but wanted to get your feel on the, you know, how things looked, um, how they felt an impact over the years from Callaway here, especially going from Maverick to Epic Max. Um, what did you think about that? Because I know that's kind of maybe the decision you're thinking of here. Yeah, the uh Max LS, it seems like it's wider from the heel to the toe. It seems a lot wider from heel okay. to toe, like more coverage that way. It's kind of interesting because it definitely looks like it's a little bit more forgiving driver, mm -hmm. but it sits a lot flat. It seems like it sits a lot flatter. Okay. So the, the toe on the, on, the, on the edge just seems a little bit sharper. And it seemed like it was kind of like an anti-left golf club setup to me. Hmm. I feel like I could go after it and not worry about hooking too much with it okay. as well. Very it definitely did spin less too because mm -hmm. We'll notice it went, went further as well. And any time I can get a little less spin, I'm going to pick up a little more distance there too. But I thought it was kind of interesting because it definitely is a larger profile, but it's spinning less. So that's probably mm. the biggest takeaway. Yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what Kelly was going for, right? They wanted to give you a little bit more forgiveness properties, but also still provide that low spin. And for someone like you who swings it fast, low spin is going to be uh, a, a benefit to you. Yep. So looking at the numbers here, you can see you know the spin was what i mean in terms of comparing to epic flash you get 300 uh lower rpm and then about 130 or so to mavericks sub-zero and that resulted in you know the most carry distance and the most total distance of the three drivers so in terms of pure distance epic max ls is the winner of these three here yeah it was i i mean i hit it really well i felt really really confident with it when i when i was hitting i mean mm -hmm. all three i felt really confident yeah. with it's just kind of the look that i'm always kind of used to playing um but yeah i feel like epic max ls Pretty awesome how I feel like I go after it hard and not worry about overhooking it or anything like that. Felt like this flew nice and straight. And that first shot I ever hit with it right there was like right on the line. Yeah, I was this like, one right here. Yeah, I was like, oh boy, we're, we're in. What was it? 311 carry. I mean, yeah, you smoked it right yeah. down the center line here. So that was one. And then there's actually, so for those looking at this club speed number, right, there was the one where the Epic Max LS club speed was picked up extremely. Yeah, this one, a little bit higher than, not that you can't get there, Thomas, of course. Yep. but. Um, that was just the one that was picked up a little bit fast. That's maybe skewing that number a little bit. But, all right, well, Thomas, looking at these numbers, anything else that pops out at you? Yeah, I mean, you can definitely see the Epic Max LS was carrying further, going further. You can see the plus or minus number there, too. Yeah. So it's consistently carrying further and going a little bit further. Now, that's carry distance. Just for fun, just switch that to total distance for a second there. You can see just a little bit more separation mm -hmm. now because you got a little bit less spin with the, with the driver there, sure. too. Uh, my attack angle, you know, we've, we've talked about this in videos in the past, how I hit up on the ball. So I'm working on increasing my club speed because I'm hitting up on the ball. I'm probably not going to be playing a nine degree driver in 2021. Okay. So I actually was able to get Callaway to get me sent what's called the green dot cog. So it's kind of the reverse. So a normal cog on the Callaway driver is plus two and minus one left. I'm just going to play around with the minus two and plus one. So I'm going to try and play around with it, putting it down a loft to try and get to seven. Okay. That's going to give me even more ball speed. It's going to bring my height down. So I'm still hitting this 138 feet in the air. Mm -hmm. Tour average is about 100 to 110. So I'm still hitting this very high because my attack angle is up. If I'm going to continue to swing this way, if I, no, I probably will hit it further too, but if yeah. I'm going to continue to swing this way, to get that thing down, I'm, I might play around with that. So not saying I'm going to compete to that. I'm probably going to have two different golf shafts. I'll have the one that's going to be the green dot. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to play a little longer golf shaft as well. Just, just chasing little, all the distance yeah, you can Just get. a little longer, but then I also have my current shaft that I'm currently playing at 45 inches, just a little over 45 inches. 
which will be kind of like maybe my fairy finder. But okay. depending on the golf course I'm going to play, I'm going to play around. I'm going to I'm going to give it a go, like kind of like Bryson DeChambeau did. I've picked up this club speed. I'm seeing I'm seeing the advantages of hitting it further. Yeah. If I can get it out there further, I'm going to have shorter shots into the in the par five. Oh yeah. If the course is wide open, why not? But if it's a tight golf course I'm playing, fairway is obviously always premium as well. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. always want to keep both in mind. And um, but like you said about the distance gains, I mean. Epic Max LS, at least for this apples to apples test, right? That means the same loft, you had the same shaft, we had the settings on the, the weights, right? We had kind of the heavy ish, heavier weight and the clubs in the back of the club heads. Yep. And, you know, you had the lower spin with the newest model, you had the most distance. Uh, it seemed to be the best performer of the three. And so you get in, of course, the optimizing that you want to do. And there's a lot more out there I think you can maybe get to, which would be fun to see. It's something to play around with. We'll, we'll see what happens once I start playing in events because I don't want to hit it way offline. If it, right. that setting seems like it's hard for me to hit it straight, fairways are definitely a premium. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yep. Well, Callaway, kind of sub zero slash LS drivers um, over the last three years. Clearly, some good performance here. I mean, look at these. I mean, these are total distances are all over 300 yards. I mean, carry is essentially all over 300 yards. So, um, great stuff from Thomas here for one, hitting all those shots, but also great stuff from Callaway. Providing the technology, the low spin and high launch performance out of these these driver models in particular. If you're interested in any of these three, you can stop into a second swing store, talk to Thomas or any one of our experts, um, or talk to our online fitting and support team, and we'll be happy to help you out, get you fit into something for your swing. So, Thomas, thank you for again hitting all the shots and giving us all the information today. Not a problem. Mm -hmm.